Welcome back to the American Dream. This time I get to speak with broker owner of Realty Executive Southern Nevada Properties, Laura Harbison herself. Laura, thanks so much for being here with us on the American Dream. Thank you for having me here today. Of course. So I want to talk about homes not selling because it is a hot market, but sometimes homes don't sell. So what are some of the main reasons that a home on the market might not be selling? Well, there can be lots of reasons why a home isn't selling. Uh, the number one reason is usually because the property has been overvalued. It's important to make sure you've put the right price on your property, that you're using homes that have sold in the neighborhood recently that are the most comparable to your property when trying to estimate what the asking price of your property should be. Uh, another reason may be that the home needs to be professionally cleaned. That is kind of a you know, touchy subject for some homeowners because uh, a lot of people keep a very clean home, but there's nothing like having a property professionally cleaned, which means having the carpets cleaned, the tile steam cleaned, the windows cleaned, the landscaping touched up, you know, things like that to make the property present in its best light. Then you're going to want to look at your actual advertising. You know, is your listing poor? How are your descriptions written? Are the photographs showing your property in its best light? Most homeowners do look at the internet before they pick out properties to go and see. So you want to make sure that the pictures are attractive, that they're professional, and that the descriptions are inviting so that they want to choose your home to look at. Then if people are coming and they're not choosing your home, you're, you need to objectively look at the property and say to yourself, do I have my home over furnished? Do I have too many furnishings? Do I have too many personal items of decor in there? You know, do I have a big mural pointed, you know, painted on my wall that I think is beautiful, but uh, maybe it's not appealing to the next homeowner? Uh, making sure that you're not over furnished is probably the number one thing with regards to that to do because it's easy when it's all your belongings around you. Maybe you're going to be moving into a larger home, and so you're already overstuffed into the one that you're in. Well, that's very apparent and it makes your home feel smaller. Or maybe you're planning on downsizing and you're not going to be keeping all of those, you know, all of those furnishings and items. So I always recommend that people get rid of any of the things that they're not going to keep and take to their next home before they put their home on the market. Those are some really good points. I know pricing properly is, you know, one of the huge ones. And of course, you know, depersonalizing the buyers want to be able to see themselves in that home. So great advice on that. Now, what advice would you give a homeowner that has, say, tried to sell their home, it's been unsuccessful, but their, their mission is to ultimately sell? Well, first of all, don't panic. There is a buyer for every home, and if it's priced properly and presented properly, it will sell. So I would suggest getting a professional real estate broker to objectively review your situation, give you some tips, listen to them. They know what they're doing, they've done this hopefully a thousand times before, and you know, it's important to take their advice. And Laura, speaking of thousands, I know that you've been involved in almost 7,000 successfully closed real estate transactions, including several hundred in the Anthem Country Club over the years. Let's talk about Ant Anthem Country Club. It is a beautiful community in Henderson, Nevada. It sits on approximately a thousand acres. It's a guard-gated community. Uh, so it has the guard gate, it has roving security, uh, pool, spa, walking trails, those types of amenities. And that's all included for the association dues of only $180 per month, which I think is a fabulous deal considering how gorgeous the community is. Uh, in addition to those amenities that are included with the homeowners association, there are a couple of optional memberships. There is a social membership, uh, which includes access to three restaurants, the beautiful resort style pool, the tennis courts, the volleyball and many other amenities. Uh, in addition to that, there's also equity golf club memberships available uh, at different levels, which can be also you know, invested in. So uh, really it's nice for the, for the residents because they can choose which amenities they want to pay for, and which, you know, which ones they want to be a member of and which ones they don't. Additionally, a lot of people don't realize you can be a member of the country club, uh, either the social membership or the golf membership without actually owning a home in the community. Those are, because they are private clubs, uh, even though they are located within the community, you know, it's open to homeowners and non-homeowners. Wow, $180 a month for all of those amenities really sounds 
super affordable. I know you know Anthem Country Club like the back of your hand. So Laura, thank you for sharing your knowledge with us today. And it's always great to have you on the American Dream. We'll see you next time. Thank you, I'll look forward to it. Likewise. Thanks so much for watching the American Dream. We'll be right back with more.